Over the past several years, Nikon has taken a deliberate and strategic approach to shaping its mirrorless ecosystem, gradually balancing raw speed with professional-level image quality. The company's momentum has been unmistakable, with breakthrough cameras like the Z8 and Z9 proving that Nikon can compete directly with its strongest rivals. These models have become essential tools for sports shooters, action specialists, and wildlife photographers who demand precision, speed, and absolute reliability. At the same time, the brand has also addressed the needs of modern hybrid creators through cameras like the Z6 III, a model that strikes a compelling balance between still photography and high-quality video without stretching the budget too far. Nikon's mirrorless evolution has been swift, confident, and clearly focused. Yet, in the midst of all these developments, one dedicated group of photographers has been waiting patiently in the background, those who value resolution above all else. For years, the Nikon Z7 series has been the benchmark for photographers who prioritize maximum detail, wide dynamic range, and rich tonal depth. It has earned the trust of landscape photographers, studio professionals, and fine art creators, anyone who needs precision down to the finest pixel. But time has passed quickly, and it has now been almost five years since the Z7 II was introduced. Meanwhile, the rest of Nikon's lineup has surged forward with groundbreaking technologies. As a result, anticipation surrounding the next high-resolution model has grown into genuine excitement. Photographers across the world are now asking the same question, when will the Nikon Z73 arrive, and how far will it advance high-resolution imaging? To understand why the Z73 is generating such energy within the photography community, it helps to revisit the origins of the Z7 series. In 2018, Nikon made a decisive entrance into the mirrorless arena with the original Z7 and Z6. These two models represented the company's bold transition away from its DSLR-dominated heritage and its intention to compete seriously in the rapidly shifting camera landscape. The Z7, in particular, stood out with its 45.7-megapixel full-frame sensor. Its image quality, dynamic range, and color reproduction quickly earned the respect of professionals who relied on uncompromising clarity for detailed landscape panoramas, intricate portrait retouching, and meticulous studio work. Combined with comfortable ergonomics and Nikon's characteristic handling, the original Z7 set the foundation for a new era within the brand. Two years later, in 2020, Nikon released the Z7 II, a thoughtful refinement rather than a dramatic overhaul. While it retained the same high-resolution sensor, it brought meaningful upgrades through dual XPET 6 processors, improved autofocus tracking, dual card slots, better buffer performance, and enhanced video features. These adjustments addressed many concerns from early adopters while preserving the exceptional image quality that had defined the series. The Z7 II was solid, sophisticated, and dependable, reinforcing Nikon's commitment to large sensor excellence. However, the mirrorless market evolved rapidly after that, and Nikon's development priorities began to shift. The release of the flagship Z9 marked a major technological leap, its stack sensor architecture, fast readout speeds, blackout-free viewfinder experience, and advanced autofocus system catapulted Nikon into the competitive forefront. The Z8 followed soon after, offering nearly identical performance in a smaller and more affordable body. Meanwhile, the Z6 line continued its evolution with creators in mind, offering balanced hybrid features for both stills and video. With so much attention directed toward speed, stack sensors, and filmmaking capabilities, the Z7 lineup gradually drifted out of the spotlight. Some photographers began to wonder if Nikon had quietly moved away from the high-resolution-first approach that had made the Z7 series so popular. But according to multiple industry insiders, the delay was not neglect, it was intentional strategy. Nikon was reportedly holding back the Z7 III to avoid overlapping too closely with the Z8 and to ensure that when the next high-resolution camera arrived, it would represent a true generational leap rather than a mild update. Now, with the Z7 II approaching its fifth year, whispers in the industry suggest that Nikon is finally preparing to introduce the Z7 III, potentially sometime before the end of 2025. While no official announcement has been made, the circulating rumors paint an exciting picture of what this new model might bring. Design-wise, the Nikon Z73 is expected to follow the modern design language established by recent Nikon models, clean, functional, tough, and professional. The camera will likely remain compact, smaller and lighter than the Z8, while still maintaining a durable magnesium alloy structure with robust weather sealing. This will be welcome news for photographers who frequently shoot in extreme environments, including those who work in deserts, rainforests, snowy mountains, and windy coastlines. 
Nikon has always prioritized strong build quality, and the Z7 III is expected to continue this tradition with even better ergonomics. Subtle improvements such as a more comfortable grip, a more intuitive button layout, and refined tactile response have been rumored. While these adjustments may seem minor, professionals who spend hours holding the camera will notice the difference immediately. One of the most anticipated improvements concerns the rear display system. Rumors indicate that the Z7 III may adopt the 4-axis tilting screen design seen on the Z9. This type of screen provides immense flexibility, letting photographers compose shots at low or high angles without sacrificing stability or durability, something that fully articulating screens sometimes struggle with. Many still photographers prefer a tilting mechanism because it feels sturdier, especially during tripod-based work. If Nikon truly brings this 4-axis mechanism to the Z7 III, it will be a significant ergonomic advantage for landscape and studio shooters. Regarding storage, the Z7 III is widely expected to continue using dual UHS-2 SD card slots. While faster CF Express cards are often recommended for high-speed workflows, SD cards remain more affordable and widely accessible. Nikon seems to be positioning the Z7 III as a high-resolution tool that doesn't force photographers into expensive, high-performance media unless they truly need it. This decision supports the idea that the camera will prioritize image quality and workflow flexibility over extreme burst rates. Of course, the biggest anticipated leap lies within the camera's sensor and processing engine. This is where expectations are highest, and rumors diverge into two main theories. The first theory suggests that Nikon may adopt Sony's 61-megapixel full-frame sensor, the same one used in the Sony A7RV. This sensor is well known for its exceptional detail and dynamic range and would provide a predictable, proven path for Nikon to increase resolution. The second theory is far more intriguing, Nikon may introduce a brand new 67-megapixel sensor developed in partnership with Tower Semiconductor, the same company behind the sensors used in Nikon's recent APS-C models such as the ZFC and Z30. If Nikon chooses this route, the Z7 III could have a unique sensor not found in any competing camera, potentially offering improved color depth, better highlight retention, and enhanced energy efficiency. Ultimately, whatever choices Nikon makes, whether it adopts Sony's proven 61-megapixel sensor or debuts a custom 67-megapixel design, whether it includes full 8K recording or focuses on perfecting 4K, one thing is clear, the Nikon Z7 III is poised to be much more than a small update. It is expected to be a significant leap that reasserts Nikon's commitment to high-resolution excellence. In a camera market increasingly obsessed with speed and multi-role versatility, the Z7 III will stand as a reminder that there is still a place for a tool designed to capture pure, uncompromised detail. Nikon appears ready to redefine what high-resolution mirrorless photography can achieve, one pixel at a time.